and welcome to this week's Trade of the Week on Monday, the 25th of March 2024. About a month ago, we went short the S&P 500 because we had some negative divergence on the daily chart. And uh, we uh, looked all right many times. We came back towards our entry level. I think it was at 5,087. But in the end, we did get stopped out last week after the Fed meeting uh, at our 5,200 stop loss level and uh, basically uh, lost 2% of our hypothetical trading capital on that trade. And this is just uh, interesting because um, negative divergence quite often works as an early warning sign of a possible consolidation in the trend and sometimes a trend reversal. But uh, the underlying trend is always stronger. Um, and I do like to trade uh, negative divergences or positive divergences, but sometimes, as in this case, as you can see here, they don't work out in about 30% of cases. So we tried it, didn't work, and we went to the next trade, which was to go long euro dollar. Now we went long euro dollar um, at 108.44 and had a target 109.44. Uh, we got within two pips of that target. So I consider us to have uh, at least um, uh, gotten close to there. And um, basically uh, then the market went back down again. So what I would have done is probably moved my stop loss to break even once we were so close to our target, uh, meaning that uh, we wouldn't have been stopped out. If you haven't done that, um, then we had a stop loss in place at 107.96. Uh, that is still below the low here at the late February low. And um, that um, is still there, but hasn't been stopped out at the moment. So that is that trade there. And then what I would like to do this week is to go short the British pound against the US dollar. And the reason for this is fundamental and technical. From a fundamental point of view, it's the fact that the Bank of England last week became more dovish. And therefore, we have now rate cut expectations moving forward from August to June of this year. And this has led to weakness in the British pound. And I expect this to continue to be the case versus the US dollar. And uh, from a technical perspective, the fact that we've fallen through this um, uptrend line here and uh, the fact that we last week uh, tried to rally and then failed after the uh, Fed and Bank of England meetings means that the reversal is likely in place. So I would like to go short, but at a higher level once we get back to this breached um, uptrend line, which can act as resistance. So this week's uh, trade of the week is to go short the bridge pound against the US dollar and do so around 126.85 with a stop loss above last week's high at 128.05 and a downside target around 125.20.